Well, Apprentice Joe, basically being the genius that he is, has fixed all of our problems. So well done, Apprentice Joe. Huge amounts of applause for Apprentice Joe, everyone. Oh, yeah. Right, let's try this again. So uh, here we go. These are the five guilty pleasure records. All right, so we heard this one earlier on, and we all know who this is. Yeah. Yes? All right. Gaga, 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 gaga. Hello, hello, baby. Let's just fast forward it on so the listeners can get to the good bit. Okay? Good bit. <laughs> you say good bit. The bit day, that though. everyone knows. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all things are relative in the guilty pleasures game. All right, so that's guilty pleasure record number one. This is number two. Which, as we know, was ABBA. <laughs> so you say what you like, but everyone's yeah. bopping along in their chair, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's addictive. All right, this is Guilty Pleasure record number three. Ah, this is one that didn't play last time. Just flick it on a little bit. This is your drunk at the end of the night song, isn't yeah. it? Do you know what I mean? This is your 5 to 12. There's a taxi outside for Johnson. This is normally when this is being played. All right, so take that. Or the that, as I believe the fans call them. One of Gary Barley's finest moments. And this is Guilty Pleasure record number four. Ooh, I don't know what this is. It's a motorbike <laughs> and some insects. They're a great band. They were uh, they're from Manchester in the mid nineties. Great band. Yeah, some motorbike and some insects on. You know what I mean? They're on tour with Oasis. Oh, is this what? Is this what I think it is? If it is, can I just say whoever's brought this in? This may just be a contender for best guilty pleasure record ever, because this is a strong one. Yeah, it is. I think even I might know. Don't know how many Grammys George Michael won for these lyrics, I've got to be honest. So someone in this record loves Club Tropicana by Wham. That's good, I love it. Someone in this studio. Someone loves this record. Okay, fine. So that is a very, very strong yeah, Guilty Pleasure record. Right. The best one, I think, has always been when Paul uh, from Natural Tendency brought in um, Achy Breaky Heart by Billy Ray yeah. Cyrus. <laughs> but I think we may have a new winner here for Guiltiest Pleasure Ever. Okay, so that's number five, and this is Guilty Pleasure record number six, which we already heard earlier on, and which is so clearly Joe's. <laughs> okay, so, now, everyone, this is Taylor Swift. So... Everyone now has to say who they think each Guilty Pleasure record is, and then one by one we will all admit to the Guilty Pleasure. Okay? What, if, what if it's our own? Like, what do we say then? You have to say it's someone else's. Oh, okay. Poker yeah. face, yeah? Right. Uh. So, everyone know what they have to do? So, this was Guilty Pleasure record number one. Let's go round the studio. Let's just flick this on a little bit. Let's go round the studio. We'll start with Apprentice Joe. Who do you think this belongs to? Uh, oh, I, have, I don't, I don't really know to be honest. Um, I'm, I'm going to take a wild guess and go for Natalie. But <laughs> all right, so Joe says it's Natalie. Anya, I think it might be you to be honest. Oh, thanks very much. <laughs> all right, so you think it's me? You did call it good at one point. Uh. Yeah, <laughs> let's get to the good bit. All right. Sally? <laughs> um, I might have to go with you as well. Uh, I'm going with you too. Uh, <laughs> rubbish. Well, I no, I, I was going to say Joe, but Joe, no, Joe is definitely Taylor Swift. So <laughs> that means I've got to go with someone else. I think Natalie was very quick to leave the game. Well, no, actually, no, I think Natalie could be out, but I don't know. Okay, so... So would the person whose guilty pleasure is Lady Gaga telephone please make themselves known now? Yeah, okay, it's me. 
<laughs> I really like this. Hey, it's a good pop song. <laughs> That's the only justification I have. Sorry. You did slip up I did. You, I did. Yeah. I'm not, I've never done that before, have I? Never done no. I did during the mystery years when we, we used to play this game. We had to guess what years uh, a particular song was from. And I did actually get to the end of a song when, when we could go, I can't believe this record's 20 years old and thereby give away which year it was. <laughs> but no, I really like this record. I think it's a good pop song. And when I DJ, it always goes down well. With me. <laughs> with me and no one else. Nobody else in this room likes it then. Oh, I don't nope. even know her. Okay, fine. <laughs> well, I stand by my selection. I mean, I'm humiliated and I really can feel myself going red. But hey, that's what Guilty Pleasure is all about. So, someone in this room loves this record. Okay. Now, I would have said Joe because I know Joe's mum likes this sort of stuff but <laughs> but I'm st- I still like Taylor Swift for Joe so I think one of Wolfhound cool aco- acoustic rocky folky trio loves this record okay Joe who do you think it is uh, I'm going to go for Anya okay Anya mm, I I think it's Sally Okay. <laughs> Sally, who do you think it is? Mm, um, I might go with Anya as well. Actually. Okay, Anya as well. I'm going to go with... It's no good looking at me, I'm yeah. out. Yeah. I've been humiliated. <laughs> Sally. <laughs> yeah, do you know what? I'm going to agree with Natty. I think this is Sally as well. She's looking a little bit... Yes. Furtive. <laughs> we should all play poker with Sally, because, you know, we, we, win, we win loads. <laughs> That's our assumption. We could be wrong. Sally could be bluffing. She could be bluffing the rest of us <laughs> by looking a bit shifty and actually it's someone else. <laughs> okay, so would the person whose guilty pleasure record is Gimme 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 by ABBA, which is a great guilty yeah. pleasure, please make themselves known now. Me. Oh, it's oh, Natalie. No. I was thinking it might have been you, but oh. yeah. Can I just say that well played, Natalie? Because none of us guessed it was. But you. I didn't think that was a guilty pleasure for you, Natalie. You yeah, like yeah. openly. <laughs> you know, I don't like them openly. I can only listen to them when nobody else is around. Okay, yeah, <laughs> that's the essence of guilty pleasure. But, but the crazy thing is, is that two of. Of the, of the other songs I would have picked I know I had a cho- oh really I had a choice of three and then and then two of them I would have picked so we could easily have had another clash yeah, yeah well there we are that's I why I was so even... stuck I was so stuck thinking yeah. like alright so Natalie is ABBA <laughs> good stuff <laughs> which is definitely a windows wound up in the car song do you know what I mean yeah. <laughs> ok so Natalie is out and I'm out so Sally Annie and Joe are still in yeah. alright so one of the three of them loves this record. You light the skies up above. Surely Gary Barlow's finest songwriting moment. Sally, I think, I don't know. Shut up! <laughs> you're not supposed to say anything. You've got that look on your face, you're just like... Alright, so Natalie, you think it's Sally? Well, I'm, I'm not sure, I can't decide. No. You're just keen to blame Sally, that's yeah, all it is. Yeah. Older sister, it's her. Yeah. <laughs> all five are Sally, according to Natalie. There are worse songs you could accuse me of, you know. Ah, uh, maybe she's given oh. too much away there. <laughs> Although Anya was doing a little bit of air drumming just there. <laughs> <laughs> that, <laughs> you thought I didn't spot that, didn't you? It's a good song. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't want you to sack her as drummer just because she air drums to take that. Right? <laughs> so, Joe, who do you think it is? Bear in mind, uh, it's no, you can't say you. I know. So you have to go yeah. with either Sally or Anya, um, both of whom have given you clues at this point. Yeah, I know. Um, I'm going to go for Sally, but I'm not really sure to be honest. Right, so Joe thinks it's Sally. Anya? I think it's Sally. All right, Sally is going to say... I think it's Anya. Mm-hmm. Sally's going to say Anya. I don't know, Anya or Sally. It's too hard. you got to pick one. We're only on air till nine, Natalie. Take your time. Anya. Anya. All right. I'm going to say Anya as well because I think the air drumming gave it away. (laughs) We were all looking at Sally. She was going for a sneaky little air drum there. (laughs) All right. So, would the person whose guilty pleasure record is Rule the World by Take That please make themselves known? Oh, my God. It's you, isn't it, Sally? No. It's me. (laughs) (laughs) Tell me about it, Sally. Why? Um, I just... 
I always sing along to it. <laughs> I yeah. feel really bad. <laughs> do, you, do you have to be drunk, or can you sing along to it sober? No, I could sing along to it sober. See, really? <laughs> yeah. um, I don't actually think it's a guilty pleasure. I actually openly like the song. <laughs> right, okay. Me too. That, yeah. Perhaps you just take perhaps you take guilty pleasure to another level, Natalie. Yeah. That's what it's it is. So isn't cheesy, it? but I kind of oh, like it. It's so good, though. It's like at the end of um, Stardust. Yeah, that's why oh, I love God, it. Like yeah. at the end of Stardust. I associate it with the end of drunken discos, but that's just me from the DJ. <laughs> you put it on, they all fall over each other, all hugging each other. Mate, you're my best friend. Um, okay, so that was Sally, which leaves Joe and Anya, who coincidentally are sitting together on the yellow mic, which makes it very easy for the rest of us and for me for levels. Uh, so, one of them loves this record. Oh, this was. Okay. And one of them is a closet Taylor Swift fan. Shut up, Natalie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing Natalie likes this record openly no, as well. I was, no, I was I thinking that this, this, this was one of them that I was going to choose. Really? Yeah. I was thinking it was yours, actually. But you're yeah. open about your love for this no, record, no, no, so it's no, not I don't, a guilty no, I don't pleasure. Like, I don't like this one. I like Taylor Swift's previous stuff, but not this album. It's, oh, okay. You're singing right. along with it, though. Why, yeah, has she gone too mainstream now? Yeah, she's okay, not like... Um, so, I think that Taylor Swift is Joe and Club Tropicana <laughs> is Anya. In which yeah, case, so. you, Anya, win a place in the Guilty Pleasures Hall of Fame with that one. <laughs> uh, so, Joe, who do you think it is? Well, I kind of have to say Anya, don't I? Of course you do. And yeah. Anya will have to say Joe. Sally? Oh. I don't know. Um... Uh. <laughs> I might have to say that Joe's Taylor Swift. So you're saying with me, Joe is Taylor Swift, yeah. and Anya's, yeah. your drummer, is yeah. Club Tropicana. Yeah. Okay. I'm going for the same. Same? Okay, so, number four was Club Tropicana by Wham. Drinks are free. <laughs> Sun and fun shine. Um... So would the person whose guilty pleasure is Club Tropicana by Wham, <laughs> love that, I love saying that, um, would they please make themselves known, now it's so Anya, yeah, it's so <laughs> she couldn't keep a straight face for long enough, do you seriously like this record? I love it, yeah, it, it's it like was this one as well, really? Yeah. <laughs> Sure. I didn't. I don't know this. Do this know? Is, no. Can I just say you clearly didn't live through the eighties because you would think this was rubbish if you had. But anyway. Well, so why? Why do you like it, Anya? I don't know. Well, it used to be my brother's favourite song when he was. Oh, your brother hates you now. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Sorry, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> and he used to play it all the time. So it just like grew on me. Now I love it. I don't know. There's something about it. It's that. like. It's a feel-good song, isn't it? You need to a little bit of a jig to it. Yeah. A, yeah. <laughs> Don't they call it a hairbrush song? Is that what they call it? You know, when it's a it's feel like good... It's like singing into the yeah. hairbrush. Yeah. It's not yeah. something I do a lot of. I'm, I'm going, oh, <laughs> but... <laughs> so, Anya, you win a place on the wall of fame for that one. That may just be the best guilty pleasure record ever. Oh. Well done. <laughs> and I In the meantime, I Joe gets sacked. Taylor Swift. Yeah. So, uh, speak to me, Joe. Uh, well, uh, the first time I heard this was... I can't remember why. I was in the car with my cousin, and she put this on. And I found myself singing it many times afterwards. Um, I don't know, it's a really rubbish song, but I really... I really... I like you it. You just like it? Yeah. It's a, it's to a be honest, play. I was singing this song a lot yesterday. Yeah. Was, really? Yeah, you like it as well? I, I, when I first heard it, I basically played it over and over to try and make myself like it. I was yes. like, no, no it's got to be good. Because it's Taylor Swift. Yeah, because it's Taylor Swift. And I was like, no, this is no. horrible. But she was never good, Natalie. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Sally, but you're wrong. <laughs> all right, all right. So, all right. <laughs> Next time you come in, I'm bringing a pair of boxing gloves yeah. for these two. <laughs> So there we are. Did everybody enjoy the musical Guilty Pleasure today? <laughs> yes. No, they didn't. Well, no, genuinely, did you enjoy it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's it all right, funny. isn't it? You know, knowing everybody's innermost, deepest musical, you know, thoughts. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm feeling a bit uncomfortable now, to be honest. But there we are. <laughs> I thought Lady Gaga was pretty awful, but actually, I feel a bit better now. I mean, wow. I'm in- just rub it in yeah sorry (laughs) well well done and genuinely thank you for doing that because it is you know it's not an easy thing to do to 
admit to your humiliating choices on air. I have to say, Natalie's taken it to the extreme by basically every single one. She's gone, oh, I love this. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie's got like five guilty pleasures. But uh, uh, anyway. Ten, so you made it so weird. difficult for me, Natalie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, so thank you very much for doing that. We're going to have one more song from Wolfhound before nine o'clock. These are our guests for next week, which is the very excellent Gloucester Road. This is called Lines Get Blurred, and we'll have more Wolfhound next. <laughs> 